Hello, my name is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego, and today we are going to, to install ArcGIS Explorer and point it to our server so we can use our port GIS. Um, the first step is to make sure you have enough RAM on your computer. Uh, the first thing you do is you press uh, Start, right-click My Computer, and go to Properties. And then down here on the bottom, it says how much RAM you, sh you have. Uh, if it says 0.97 GB of RAM, you should be fine. If it says 500 megabytes of MB of RAM, then you probably should t contact MR at, and you can figure out who MR is on docs 315612. It's part of our security because this is going out on the web. So we're not gonna, we're trying not to expose too much information. So just again, refer to 315612. Um, and that should be written in the uh, written directions that accompany this video. Uh, the next step after you've done that is to install the .NET framework, um, the Microsoft.NET framework. So open, uh, you need to download it, and just uh, you can search on Internet Explorer or Mozilla, whatever you have. .NET 2.0 framework. Press enter. It should be the top, the top one, and then uh, you just go down here, download. There we go. Run. Run. Um, it might take a little while on your computer. Just uh, you know, pause the video, uh, and then you can pick up uh, where you left off. Um, click next. I accept. I've already installed this once today, so it's it's saving it in my computer. That's why it's a little faster. Install, um, and it says that we already have it. So many of you will already have it, um, but this is the quickest way to figure out if you have it or not. Uh, so you install the .NET framework, and um, this will uh, error out basically. Um, but the next step is to download and install ArcGIS Explorer. If you just search ArcGIS Explorer, uh, it should be the top. Oh, don't send. Okay, that's from our .NET 2.0. Uh, download now, and then you click this Download ArcGIS Explorer. And it should pop up something. There we go. Just click Run. Uh, run. And now it's uh, installing it. Again, you might need to pause the video while it downloads. Uh, just click Next. I accept. Next. I, I like to leave this, but you can do whatever you'd like. Uh, Next, just next through. Basically, it's uh, we're just installing the basic default options for this program. This is basically ESRI's answer to Google Earth. Uh, Google Earth points to a server, um, probably in San Jose or somewhere. Um, and uh, basically, what we're going to do is we we're going to download this, and by default, it's going to be downloading to a server at ESRI. Um, but we can point it to a server on the fifth floor. So uh, in video two, I'll show you how to, uh, inst to point to the server on the fifth floor. But right now, we're just going to install the default program. Let's click Finish. And it gives us this little shortcut. The first thing I do is I rename this shortcut, say, Port GIS. And then double click it. <coughs> and so basically, it's opening ESRI's Arc uh, Google Earth type of uh, software. This is what it looks like. And uh, you can, ins you can uh, do similar things find address. Let's just do 3165 Pacific Highway 92101. <laughs> Find and it's looking for it and it found it and now we're zooming to it so as you can see it's a pretty Google Earthy thing 
and uh, the so the image will get better. It's pulling the image from ESRI. So, and you can do it's got all kinds of Google Earthy kind of stuff. All right, well, uh, stay tuned for the next video to point this software to uh, our server here at the port. Uh, again, my name is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego. My uh, phone number is 619-400-4778. Uh, my email is aisaak at portofsandiego.org. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about this program or um, anything GIS related. Thank you very much.